Sir Tina here once again from shortmetina.com with my daily recap. Today is Monday. Uh, I'm reluctant to say happy Monday because the last few days have been, I am sure, as stressful for a lot of you as it has been for me. Not necessarily just, oh, I'm already just jumping into things, right? Like that's how chaotic things have been. But in the spirit of expressing sort of gratitude, obviously you know that I am super grateful that you're here, especially on a day like today on a month or week as we've been experienced. If you're actually here still listening to this with all the craziness that's going on out there, 100%, I am super grateful that you're here. And for that, I thank you. Um, But, you know, get involved. Let's really try to talk to one another in this sort of really crazy time. So thumbs up and comment with anything, even, you know, how you're dealing with this with the coronavirus, this virus, sort of the mandates that have been going into effect uh, statewide. Uh, Recently, uh, my daughter's school just shut down effective today. It's going to close for the next, I want to say, over 30 over 30 days. They're not slated to reopen until April. And while this doesn't necessarily pose a um, a huge problem for me because one, she's a senior and had fulfilled all her requirements. Like she's really on her way to college. I mean, outside of her complaining in typical teenage fashion that she hopes this doesn't like ruin her prom and all the other senior activities she had. Um, but again, outside of that, uh, for me, things might be a, a relatively easy because I do uh, at this moment work from home. But to all the parents that had to scramble uh, to find childcare, my heart goes out to you. I'm completely sympathetic uh, for anyone who's um, you know, might work an hourly job or whose business, um, is closing or slowing down because of this. Uh, I sympathize with you. So this is some really trying times for us all, not just as individuals, but obviously as investors. And while I have been trading the stock market for a very long time, uh, like I always say, close to 20 years, I'm really trying to go back in history to see if I've ever experience anything of this magnitude like i've lived through a lot granted i've lived through 9 11 the great recession that happened around 2007 to 2009 uh, the housing bubble uh the china bubble but this is completely uncharted territory to the point where i'm not even quite sure technicals really work in the way that i normally believe that they work uh but nonetheless I'll, I'll, I'll make all attempts to talk about levels of uh, or areas of support where you might get a balance. Just my thoughts. And I'm a little bit all over the place today because right now with everything that's going on, I'm really kind of debating if it even makes any sense to continue doing these, continue doing these videos. I mean, uh, you know what? I do believe that they, it makes sense to do them. Why? Because at least it's, it's still a voice out there to reach folks again that might be isolated or or by themselves like it it, it's just it's just a voice at least uh, you know on the other end of your computer screen so i'm going to continue to do them may not talk about individual stocks per se unless there's something um significant or different um occurring in them i'm going to stick to the overall markets in particular the spy maybe on other days i might go through the rest of them but today i think i'm just you know what i might also talk about the dow because i don't normally talk about the dow so today i'm talking about the spy and the the dow uh because you know what my motto is it's always um Overall markets first, individual stocks second, because as you can see, uh, with the exception of a few stocks here and there, when the market sells off, all other stocks are selling off too, right? When we get that bounce like we saw on Friday, I think it rallied like 9 or 10%, most stocks were lifted up, right? So I always, like I've said a million times before, I always look to the overall markets. And for me, it's the SPY, the IWM, the Dow, the Russell, I just said that the Russell, the NASDAQ, uh, because it really is going to dictate what's going on underneath. Uh, so today with the SPY, this is a daily chart, uh, we were off about north of 11%, another crazy day. So if we thought Thursday was a crazy day in the SPY with the, the SPY like losing north of 10%, today we kind of went, we, we kind of fell a bit more once again, like the third time in two weeks, 
triggering those circuit breaker levels. I mean, again, 100% uncharted territories. Everything is locking down from restaurants to bars. And again, I know I'm all over the place, but that's exactly how I felt for these past few days, frazzled. Not only trying to deal with, um, you know, the stock market and my trading and my investment account, but also dealing with other things like, you know, like my daughter and my, you know, my elderly mother. And it's just, it's, it's been a lot nonetheless, or it's been a lot to say the least. And I'm over here. I don't need, I don't even know if this is a, I don't even know if this is technical analysis or me just sort of like vlogging or venting or just using uh, this platform as a microphone to just get my thoughts out the way. And, uh, and I, it might be all over the place. So please bear with me. Uh, and so one thing, honestly, before I, I jump into analysis of the spy, one thing that a lot of folks have been talking about is really whether or not we should close the stock market. Now, a lot, you know, obviously there's many sides to this. Some people are saying, well, just let it play out. And others are saying, well, let's just close it for several weeks so we can focus on like these other things that are changing literally day to day on a federal level and a state level. Like again, the social distancing, the closing of gyms and bars and not being able, you know, and curfews and things like that. Like I've never, like literally never remember being in a time like this. So obviously people's uh, anxiety levels are probably heightened. So that might be extreme, it might be extremely difficult to pay attention to, you know, the stock market when you have all these other things going on. So I'm curious as to what your thoughts are in terms of the stock market being open, right? Do you feel that they should close the stock market uh, for the next two or three weeks until we kind of have a grapple on this virus? Or should we just let things play out the way that they, um, they're going to play out? Uh, and again, I'm not here 100%. I'm not trying to be a hero. I'm not trying to catch a bottom. Um, and I'm, but I am buying when the market pulls back like this, again, in increments, once again, looking for uh, uh, well-run companies, like really good companies with a longer term trajectory. So once again, that's how I'm playing uh, with my longer term investment account. For uh, trades, I am looking at swing trades here and there, but definitely not looking to hold anything longer than two or three days because I just don't f believe that they're going to pan out or materialize in this type of environment. It's like whatever uh, pop you get within a day, two, perhaps even three, I think those, um, you know, the market usually gives them back just as quickly. So whatever trades that I'm looking at, uh, and maybe I'll be discussing them later on, not in this video, but later on, later on, uh, they're not being held for a very long time until this market stabilized. And again, just by looking at this, you can tell the market has not stabilized. Anyway, so let's get eight minutes in. Let's just briefly talk about the SPY. And thank you for bearing with me. If you have not turned off as of yet, it means that you probably just really like my voice. Anyway, um, closed at 241.07. Uh, again, Despite the market being down north of 11% in one day, not a typo, or not, uh, it, that's not a misspeak, north of 11% in one day, despite that, oddly enough, we still have yet to revisit December 2018 lows of 233.76. So if the market pulls back tomorrow, and I, I honestly think for us, and I thought today was going to be an update, clearly that did not happen. Uh, I thought the rally that we had on Friday would have extended into uh, today. I didn't think it was going to be sustained, but I thought we were going to rally today. Did not rally, lost uh, north of 11%. And what's on the cards, once again, is December 18 lows of two. 33 uh, 76 so despite the market being down uh, north of 30 percent from all-time highs believe it or not from all-time highs to present level we're down something like a little over 20 28 not a little right we're down something like 28 percent north of 30 percent so that's a really big drop but even despite that big drop we have not retouched december 18 levels of 233 so for me that kind of like put things into context right so we're down 30 percent right but even with that, we still are not as low as we were about two years ago or less than two years ago, right? Because 
December of 2020 would make two years ago. So for me, uh, expecting, and I think it would be wise if we want sort of that overshoot, expecting the market to pull back more tomorrow. I think that would be the best case scenario if we open down, not up, if we open down, I think we're going to retest the December 2018 levels. I think we're actually going to run that level, meaning that we're not going to get an immediate bounce. We're actually going to fall below this line of support right here. And I think perhaps then you can get a bounce. Is that, would that mean that this selling is over? Probably not. Again, we do not know sort of the economic fallout of this virus. We do not know how this is going to affect the overall economy with stores and, you know, retail is closing. Nike decided to close for two weeks. I believe Apple is closed down for two weeks. A lot of small businesses are taking a hit. So we don't know what the ripple effects will look like three months out, six months out. Uh, so it's hard to say if this is if uh, we're anywhere near the bottom. Uh, my gut tells me uh, we are not. All right. So that's kind of my take on the spy looking to get that bounce. Maybe you might want to go long, shorter term for some sto uh, some stocks, because, again, if the market rallies, more than likely uh, uh, individual stocks are rally. So if we retest December 2018 lows, maybe it might make sense to go long, get that little nine or 10 percent bounce in some stocks uh for a bit of relief but outside of that again i don't think that the rally will be sustained i'm expecting uh more downside would not be surprised believe it or not all right so let's do that let's actually switch over to a monthly chart uh my notations my notations and so if we breach here from a monthly chart where was their major resistance i see it right here we would have to go back and let me highlight it before i Okay, that's the wrong little cursor, right? That's the wrong cursor. It's the wrong, uh, I'm looking for this. So yeah, so right here. So if we end up breaching that 233.76 December of 2018 low, then this right here, that 200 to 205 level, that level that we were sort of, that served as resistance in 2014, 2015, 2016, we should be able to, should, right? Should be able to get some support around there, all right? Let's go to the Dow and then we're gonna cut it there because oddly enough, although I just spoke about the SPY, this video is about 12 minutes running so far. All right, let, let's uh, talk about the Dow. All right, and so let's uh, talk about the Dow. Unlike the SPY, this is actually a monthly chart. Uh, we're off somewhat to the SPY, north of 11% on the day, close at 207.11. Uh, so this is a monthly chart, but the monthly low clock in at 201.51. I'm gonna switch to the daily really quickly to see. Uh, yeah, that was actually today's low. 201.51 was today's low. So we're off uh, a little bit from session lows. We got that bit of a bounce. Um, but unlike the SPY, right, uh, the Dow actually already took out its December 2018 lows, which was 216.97. We're a bit below that. Uh, and so you can see right here, similar to the SPY, the next area really of support, we would have to actually go back. That's why I went to the monthly chart. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, so if we go back uh, to December, uh, like not December, 2014, 2015, 2016, you'll see that there's a bit of once resistance, obviously, hopefully it's going to act as support and what that level is, is around that 180 to 185 level. So um, if we cannot hold uh, today's low of 201, and I don't believe we're going to hold it, perhaps we're going to hold it this week. But um, if things continue, uh, continue to accelerate rapidly the way it has been so far with this virus, I completely expect there to be more selling. I do not think we've reached a level of capitulation yet, uh, despite, which is odd, despite being down uh, a good 18% on the month. Last month, we shed about 10%. Again, collectively, the markets are off north of 30% in the last two months. Despite that 30% decline, I do not believe we've reached a level of capitulation. Um, so when we breach uh, 201, uh, the 201.51 lows of today, uh, my next stop or where I see uh, the down might find a bit of support is between that 180 to 185 level. And that's my take on the Dow. Now we're going to cut it there. I've been talking for 14 minutes. Um, it wasn't my intention, but I felt a need to do a little bit more than just your, you know, here's why I'm, what I'm looking at kind of thing. I guess if I can sum up all of what I said, 
uh, in the last 14 minutes, it would be one, you're not, you're not here alone. I'm still going to do these videos. Uh, they might not focus on individual stocks because in this kind of climate and environment, I'm not sure if that even makes any sense at this point. I'll still talk about the SPY and Dow and do my, my technical analysis. Although we are in uncharted territory, I'll still talk to you about the level. So that's one, two, and three. Um, yeah, I think that's that's kind of it. And also, yeah, just comment in the comment section. Let me know how you're dealing with these things too. Sometimes it helps to just, uh, you know, talk to folks, talk to one another uh, to get. And again, this is global. So while I'm based out in in the U.S., say like we're not the only. This is like a worldwide problem, you know. And I know I have. Uh, folks that listen to me and members and subscribers literally in probably over 50 countries so despite where you're at i'm pretty sure in some way you are impacted by what's going on so let's uh get involved talk to one another um so yeah i'm gonna cap it there tina here once again from shortmetina.com if you enjoyed any portion of that very lengthy uh video do three things for me one again comment in the comment section let me know how you're dealing with this it doesn't necessarily have to be about the mark is just how are you dealing with it are you okay again comment in the comment section that's one two i do videos every single day at least i try so uh if you want to ensure that you do not miss that video please subscribe to our youtube channel at short me tina and the uh, third thing um right now what we're doing in the midst of all of this is we're hosting a free 14-day trading course um essentially talking about a lot of the things that i've learned trading the stock market for north of uh, 20 years and this one uh, 2020 will be one for the books as well. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, definitely head on over to our website, shortmetina.com. And I, I want to say that you do not need to give me your credit card. Just provide us with an email so we can know where to send the videos to. Anyway, so definitely head on over to shortmetina.com, sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you for the support. Uh, be safe out there. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at our email and I, uh, our email address, which is on our website, Uh I'll do my best, or we'll do our best to get back to you. Uh, and I'll talk to you here again tomorrow. Stay safe.